Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. My name is Mariella, and my channel is Mariella's This and That. Um, today, we're going to do carryover from the last video, the Super Bowl finger foods. Um, so, come on, let's get started. Okay, today we're going to make two more different sliders, and then we're going to make... Um, pizza bites okay so the first first let's cut our buns in half Set the tops down there. And once again, because it's just me, I'm just going to make six of these. Okay, so the first one, we're going to make barbecue chicken sliders. So what you want is, you want shredded chicken. Then you're going to season it with Garlic powder, paprika, and onion powder. Mix that up and then sprinkle this over our chicken. My hands are clean, guys. And then to this, you're going to add, you don't want a lot of barbecue sauce. You just want enough to cover the chicken. Because if you put too much, it'll make your slider buns, the bottom of your slider buns, um, soggy. You want to preheat your oven to 400. Now this is not the only barbecue sauce we're using in this. Then you're going to take your chicken and you're going to spread it on your buns. Oh, and I don't know if I told you, but you spray your pan with non-stick cooking spray. Okay. 
All this chicken was one chicken breast. But you could use um, a rotisserie chicken or boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Whatever kind of chicken you want. I'm saving the rest of this for something else. Because that's a lot of chicken on there. Then, you want to cover that with provolone cheese. Then you're going to take some more of your barbecue sauce and pour it on top of your cheese. Then take your buns, your tops, and put them on. Okay? For our next one, we're going to make an Italian sub. So you want ham, salami, and pepperoni. You want the hard salami. Um, deli sliced ham and sandwich pepperonis. I put the hard salami down first. Then the ham. And then the pepperoni. <coughs> I don't think you know who you're marking at. Because I think the neighbor's allowed to come home from work. And then you're going to top the pepperonis <coughs> with provolone cheese. You don't have to do this if you don't want.
But I like having uh, banana peppers on mine. If you don't want them, you can leave them off. I just like the flavor that they add. Then you add the top to them. And I forgot to melt the button. Perfect. Okay, I melted the butter. I added some parsley and a little bit of garlic to it. Now you just... It says use a pastry brush, but I don't have one, so we're just spooning it on. Okay, we're done with this. So now you just want to um, bake it for 20 minutes in a 400 degree oven. And while that's baking, let's get started on our next one. What are you doing? Okay, how much water do we need? I just buy this pizza crust mix in the pouch because everything is there except the water and it's one pouch to a half a cup of hot top tap water. And then you mix it up until it forms a dough ball. I'll bring you guys back when I'm ready to... Uh assemble because this has to rest for five minutes okay guys our next one is pizza bites you want to use your muffin tins and this recipe makes twelve. 
So you got your pizza dough and it's rusted. So you want to take your pizza dough and you want to put it in the bottom in each hole of your tin. You want to make little cups. Make sure that you spray your muffin tins. Well, if you make this, you might need two packages of the pizza crust mix. But that's okay. Because I can always make crustless pizzas. And to make crustless pizzas, you put your cheese in the bottom. And you put your cheese next to your crust on the ones that have crust. You put some cheese. And then you go through and you put just some sauce. A little or a lot, whatever you like. Now these three that have crust in this pan, I'm not putting pizza sauce because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use them and use that chicken. I have that leftover chicken from the slider, so I'm just going to make barbecued uh, 
barbecue pizza. I have many pepperonis. So you add some mini pepperonis to your pizza. However many you like. So yeah, I didn't, I wasn't for sure what I was going to do with, with the chicken. This works out perfect. Now to those, I'll add a little bit more barbecue sauce. Not a lot, just a little bit. Probably about a half a teaspoon on each. Then you go back and you sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top of your pepperonis. I smell our sliders there should be ready to come out oh yeah the sliders come out we need to turn the temperature up to 450 on the oven And put our pizzas in. Okay, guys. When the pizzas come out, I'll bring you back. Okay, guys. Here's everything out of the oven. The Italian sliders. The barbecue chicken sliders. The pepperoni pizza bites and the chicken pizza bites the crustless ones did not turn out um the pepperonis were too greasy and if you see here they just kind of turned into a blob but that's okay me and buddy will eat them but if you're making them for guests don't try crustless because they just didn't turn out. So now we're going to do a taste test. We'll try the barbecue chicken slider first.
Mm-hmm. Now I put pickle on mine. If you don't want pickle on yours, don't put pickle on it. But I did put pickle on my barbecue sandwich after it came out of the oven. Um, but it's really good. That's a good... Actually, out of, all of, out of the ones I've made so far, I've liked them all. So here is the Italian sub one. Mm-hmm. Now, if you wanted, because that tastes just like an Italian soap. If you wanted, when you're making these, you could have put some Italian dressing on the top. The bottom side of the top bun, the side that goes towards the meat, you could have put, brushed it with some Italian dressing, salad dressing. That would have been good. And also, if you want, if you want lettuce and tomato and onion on it, you can do that when they come out of the oven. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Yum, yum. I'll bring you guys back in a minute. These are really hot. So when these cool off a little bit, I'll bring you back and we'll taste the pizza bites. Okay, they've cooled off. Now these pizza bites, you can put anything on them you want. That was the barbecue chicken. Mm -hmm. That's like a deep dish pizza. But if you use the mini pepperonis, what you might want to do, because when I took them out of the oven, there was a lot of grease on top of them. So I had to take a paper towel and blot it. So to stop that from happening, what you might want to do is put them on a paper towel and microwave them for about 30 seconds to get the grease out of them so there's not so much grease. Now here's the pepperoni one, the cheese and pepperoni. And see, it's just like a deep dish pizza. And that's what it tastes like. Okay, guys, I want to thank you all for coming. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and share my videos. Leave a comment if you want. The recipes for these will be in the description box. And always remember, don't let anybody steal your sunshine or take your smile. Have a good day. Bye-bye.